If you're new to Ableton Live, one of the most frustrating things is not hearing your audio. Now there's a couple different reasons why this can happen, and today we're gonna walk through all of them to figure out why you're not getting sound. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire, complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna need to produce professional quality music in 30 days, either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you could literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. The very first thing we're gonna check within Ableton Live is our output device. So the shortcut for uh, preferences is command comma or control comma on uh, PC. The first thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna go to audio, audio output device. We're saying, hey, this is where we wanna output the audio to. Now we're gonna have a number of different options here depending on what you have. Mine is my audio interface, so I have that selected. If you're on a Zoom call, you're gonna to wanna to select Zoom. If you're using something else, just select that. The next thing we're gonna check is our audio interface. We wanna make sure that we have our headphones or our speakers outputted and the volume up. Here's a couple different common interfaces and their volume buttons. Notice on some of them, you're gonna to have to switch between headphones and monitors, which are your speakers. If all this looks good and you're still not getting audio, we're gonna go ahead and check the tracks within Ableton Live. So here we have a drum loop and notice it's not playing. The first thing we're gonna check is that our track is on. So this is how we actually turn the track on so it's outputting audio. So once we see this gain reading, we know that we're getting audio outputting on this track. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to check is the main or the master. If there's some processing or some bugging on here that's preventing audio from coming through, you will not see down here. These are so we can see it's coming into this track, we're getting a signal, it's going out of the main and we're getting this signal. And if we're getting this signal down here on the main, it has to be an external issue. Make sure that your speakers or your headphones are properly plugged in. I hope this helps someone. If you're switching dials or you're new, I know how frustrating it could be getting everything set up. So. Hope that helped you guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.